Hey, in this video, we're going to take a look at Twist. It's an alternative, a competitor to Slack and Microsoft Teams and Stride and, and all the other Facebook workplace things out there. Uh, so stay tuned. We're going to do an onboarding experience and take a look through the interface. Hey, this is David Ferguson with Tech Smart Boss here with another video. Today, I'm going to take a look at this product called Twist, which is a competitor or an alternate to Slack. And you know we like Slack. I've talked about it on videos. We've done podcasts about it. I run my entire company uh, with Slack as the hub of all my communication. But as a Tech Smart Boss, I'm always looking for the next best thing. And as you know, we've taken a look at some other products like um, the, the one from Atlassian, uh, Stride. Uh, that one was nice, but I didn't really see much that would make me want to move away from Slack. So what is it about Twist that I guess puts a different twist on the concept of this uh, chat type communication? Well, one of the things that I, I really liked about this when I when I first came across it is the way that they handle threads and more conversations you know one of the you know slack added threading but the way that it looks like their product works is every individual line in their slack is a conversation then you've got a little side panel over here where you have that conversation and then they looks like they give you some better search um, objects here and things like that um, so I'm gonna try it out now price wise it, it looks like they're mirroring maybe a little bit cheaper than slack on the unlimited side uh, but they've got the free tier that limits you in terms of integrations and also the search history. The one thing I do not like about this price model that I think they're going to have to change really is the concept of guest. If you are on the paid version where you can get all that search history, which I would want to be on, you pay for your guests. And in the Slack model, you don't pay for your guests. You get a certain number of guests free for every paid user. That's a big difference. And that's something I think that they probably are going to have to uh, address. But, you know, they, they give you stuff like Google authentication and they're free. And, 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 and that's pretty cool. The other thing, which is the same problem that Stride had, which I'm sure, you know, any new competitor to Slack is going to have, is they're lacking in integrations. They're not going to have all those integrations that Slack has. And you can kind of see they list them here. And they've got some decent ones. But it looks like they've taken the strategy to go with Zapier and Integromat. And we've got videos out here on YouTube for both of those uh, products, by the way. Um, so pretty much you can probably hack most integrations you need with Zapier or Integromat. But again, I, I just really like those native integrations that Slack will have. So these guys got to kind of get popular here so that they can get more uh, integrations. Let's go ahead and get started, go through their onboarding and just experience uh, what it's gonna be like here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and sign up with my TechSmart Boss account. How about that? And we'll do this one. If I like it, then I'll switch it over to my company account afterwards. So I'm gonna sign up with my email. I'm not gonna remember, well, I'll go ahead and remember this. My little Remember password manager. If you're not familiar with that, go check that out. Uh, I've been using Dashlane for years, but I really like Re Remember. They're pretty cool. Let's go ahead and put my um, full name in here and create my team. I'll call this Tech Smart Boss as my team on this one. So, so far, just a standard onboarding. Not going to invite any teammates here. Skip this part for now. And let's see what it does here. So, looks like pretty simple I can create they give me some example channels that I can create by default there's a general challenge uh, general one let's create a channel I'm kind of interested to see if I could make private um, I'll just call this one development and I can't make it private at this stage but we'll take a look once we get in and see and now we're logged in so this is sort of that concept that we saw on their home page. You've got your channel listing here, and I'm in their web interface. I'm sure I could download the, the, the Mac uh, desktop as well. You've got all your threads. So it says start a new thread in this particular section. And now as you, it, it almost looks like an email interface or any common uh, help desk interface or, or, or any kind of system like that where you've got uh, an inbox. This looks like an inbox, honestly. And you can type your 
uh, start a thread, and then everybody kind of talks within with, within this thread. So let's post that thread, and now you'll see I can add comments. I've got notification methods where I can pick, uh, looks like I can create individual users and groups. I can build a group most likely and notivate, mo notify people in this. Let's just go ahead and type something. I'll say type something. I can add files, format, text, all pretty straightforward. And there it is, you'll see. And let's just see what I can do over here. I can edit it. Looks like they got some, uh, that's their, uh, they're related to that company. So they've got tight integration there. I can um, like it react to it hey let's party all right and and do those sorts of things let's start a new thread and okay it even looks like an email um this is a new thread okay and post that thread so you can kind of see so this i this i do like the fact that i mean conversations do get lost in slack so this is a nice approach on to that let's go ahead and um get out of this see what we can do here edit channel um, public channel edit this channel yeah so I can't I can't make this particular general channel um, but if I went to my if I made a new channel I could probably make that uh, private yep there we go so you can make private channels very important for the way I use slack check out our podcast on, on how I use that. And in fact, they even call that an inbox. Look at that. And then that's the general channel inbox, the archive channel. I can favorite my channels, all sorts of things like that. Um, messages, looks like these are going to be your direct messages, the equivalent of your private messages, the way Slack does them. So again, looking very much like, a, like a, I'm getting Slacks up here. I'm going to blur that out so you didn't see that message here I can add the other groups we talked about and invite other team members so that's very nice so this this has a very much like a like a help desk application uh, or mail application type of uh, feel to it let's see what we've got underneath the uh, settings here I can bring in other teams kind of like slack has different workspaces they've got teams here let's look under our team that's pretty straightforward that's just the team name Here's the integrations. We already kind of saw that list. Not a great list of integrations, but as I said, with Zapier, you can do quite a bit as well as Integromat. And there's the apps that you can download, which match up with what the uh, uh, Slack uh, apps would uh, be as well. And th then you've got the similar things where you can snooze, set up your notifications just like you can in Slack. Looks like a little bit uh, simplified version than where Slack is these days. And that's about it. So really straightforward. I like it. It's clean. I do like the thread concept and the conversation concept that they have here. The only hesitation that I would have, as I pointed out, is one, the integrations, and two, the cost for those guest users. Because the way we leverage Slack, we heavily bring in our partners, our freelancers, and everyone to contribute um, uh, so that that makes that the, the communication hub for our team. And I'm not sure if it would make sense to pay for all of those uh, guest users. When in Slack, we pay for just our full-time users and we get those included for free. So hopefully you enjoyed this. You got some ideas. You'll go out there and check out Twist. Uh, and if you do like this, leave some feedback and a comment um, on this post. And subscribe. We put out new videos every week, and you can also check out our Facebook page uh, for more information about TechSmart Boss as well. Talk to you next time.